waited all morning long for this segment. An artist from the Netherlands is putting her mark on the world. Take a look at this amazing video. Raya Senna can draw with both hands and feet at the exact same time, creating beautiful works of intricate art. And you've heard of ambidextrous, but she is quadridextrous. And according to thehealthyjournal.com, about 90% of people are right-handed. 90%, so the remaining 10% are left-handed, and ambidexterity only making up about 1% of the population. Joining me now, live from Rotterdam, Netherlands, is the artist herself, Raya Senna. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thank you for having me. I was addicted to your Instagram early this morning, going through all of your <laughs> posts. Uh, your pieces are hyper-realistic. How long have you been drawing this way? And also, what inspired you to put a paintbrush, you know, between your toes? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I started drawing with both my hands in 2019. And um, I started because I had some health issues. and. I was a little bit sad that I couldn't draw for so many years and I couldn't practice. So I started drawing with both my hands. And then a journalist asked me if I could draw with uh, my feet. So I tried that and then I discovered I could also draw with my feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so through a dark time, it sounds like you found that you had this talent. Uh, being ambidextrous is a rarity on its own, but when did you realize, you know, how long did it take you before you realized that you had this extraordinary talent. Not only could you do it, but you had an extraordinary talent for it. Um, I didn't realize it myself that it was something special. <laughs> I thought everyone could do it. But um, yeah, I tried uh, to drawing two eyes with my feet and I could do that. And then I started the, the six portraits at the same time. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I will confirm that not all of us can do it. <laughs> I cannot, that's for sure. <laughs> Take us through the process of painting with both hands and feet. I mean, where does the artistic process start for you? Um, I think a lot of patience is needed when you work this way. Um, I try to quiet my mind before I start drawing or painting. And yeah, I put on an audio book and then I try to not think too much about it. I just do it and I listen to audio books. And, and you just do your thing. Uh, you had, this is also interesting, you had an EEG scan done. What did it reveal about your brain performance and what did you learn about yourself? Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, the, the results were quite surprising. Um, they discovered that my left and my right brain are completely connected while I'm drawing. Uh, but they also found out that there is activity similar to epilepsy. Um, so I really didn't realize that. But for me, it's like a dreamlike state. Uh, for me, drawing this way feels like a meditation. So luckily, uh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's very cathartic for you. Uh, we have seen your portraits. As I told you, I was scrolling early this morning. What are your favorite things to draw? <laughs> um, I love to draw my favorite celebrities and people that inspire me. And I also love to draw the things from my imagination. And you're a child prodigy. And now years later, you're still being recognized for your work and unique skill. I mean, what must that have been like for you? <laughs> um, I don't really think much about it. I love to create art. Uh, for me, art is really uh, an outlet for me and some a way to express myself. And for me, that is the most important thing, uh, just uh, well, make I'm art and express myself. Unbelievable. Raya Sinna, thank you so much for your time this morning and, and sharing your thank talents you so with the much. world. We do appreciate it. Thank well, you so much. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.